In 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 10 and 11, we read, As each one has received a special gift, employ it in serving one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Whoever speaks is to do so as one who is speaking the utterances of God. Whoever serves is to do so as one who is serving by the strength which God supplies, so that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belongs the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And as Peter was writing to the Christians of his day who were in a state of true persecution, um, he was telling them, even in the midst of this, there are some things that you need to remember. You're to remember that you've received a gift and that God's gifts are, are varied. It's not cookie cutter. Everybody's not a teacher. Everybody does not have the gift of helps. Everybody um, does not have the gift of mercy. But we all have gifts from God. And just as a side note, we all still are called to teach. We are still all called to help. We are still all called to exercise mercy. It may just not be our gifting. But he goes on to say that we are to exercise those gifts that God has given us. And we're to do it in the power of the Holy Spirit. We're to do it remembering that when we speak, we're not just speaking our words. We're speaking the words of God. When we serve, we're not just serving in our strength, gritting our teeth and kind of saying, oh, nobody else will do this, so I guess I better. But we're serving in the strength which God supplies. And the reason that we do that is so that in all things, in every area of our life, in every area of the church, God will be glorified because to him belong glory. So if we are exercising our gifts for our own glory, we're in a troublesome place. If we're not exercising our gifts at all, we're in a troublesome, troublesome place. God has gifted us and he calls us to exercise those gifts in his power, with his commission and for his glory.